Welcome Trash War fans, my name is Composite Energo and today it is time for some power linking. I, in actuality that's that um that's not what these two are doing when they're combining. It's that is it's not even really combining per se. Um however, uh power linking is what these two were referencing when they were combining in the movie. Um, you know that the cause um Optimus and Jetfire did power link way back in the Transformers Armada, and that's where this whole idea came from. So yeah, even though that's not what this is exactly. Well, what this is is basically um one Transformer, in this case Jetfire, sacrificing himself and providing parts for uh, what is it, giving his parts to Prime in order to restore him because the whole combination happened when he was uh, brought back to life in revenge of the fallen so what this did is that um his parts were given to him he was brought back to full health and enhanced as a jet fire put it by uh, providing his parts uh prime was given a power that he never knew which in this case was flight but on top of that it gave him i think enhanced like a lot more a uh, power as well not just for flight um, but here's a fun, here's an interesting thing. Uh, these two wasn't with the, the, um, the, this case of, of, uh, this type of combination, I guess, was not the only time that it happened in the Revenge of the Fallen movie. We actually see it a lot earlier in the beginning of the movie when Megatron was revived. If you recall, uh, the little one or scrap metal as we now know, it, it, uh, the name of that, uh, Constructicon was, uh, killed and his parts were used to repair Megatron. However, I think, um, I just, I guess, small theory is that, um, uh, Megatron didn't receive a power boost like it happened here with Jetfire and Prime, because Scrap Metal was not that powerful of a Transformer by himself, as they referred to it, he was referred to as the little one, or the, I guess, the smallest one of the Constructicons, so, uh, so his parts, all it did was really just, um, I guess, fully heal Megatron, and then, I guess, kind of give him some new abilities, like transforming into a tank and whatnot, but, um, in this case, I feel that because Jetfire is just a, I'm assuming he's, that he's just a much more powerful Transformer, um, he was just, you know, old in the movie, but he, he was sub supposedly a very powerful Transformer, that his parts given to Optimus enhanced him to the point where he not only easily defeated Megatron, but even defeated the of the fallen with the again with a bit of a of a struggle. So yeah, so enough of that. It's time to uh, combine them, or more like uh, use his parts to enhance him. So this is more like an upgrade, so to speak. I still haven't figured out what to really call this. But uh, first thing we do, we have to set up uh, Optimus here. So first thing, take off his accessories. There we go. Just take off his ion blaster. And then first thing, it may seem minor, but um, uh, this little chest piece, which I haven't shown before, as you can see, it's a little darker. It's actually more of a metallic coating. This chest piece came with the uh, Jetfire uh, figure. This is just the, that extra accessory. I may have mentioned it in uh, his review. However, uh, this piece, what you do is that you come in here, you pop off his chest, and you see there's a lot of extra detailing behind the chest, which is uh, very neat. And you replace it with this one. Now you're probably wondering, well, why? They look exactly the same. Well, yeah, they are. They're basically the same piece. However, this one is a lot sturdier. And in fact, you can see, I can't take them off. I can't take it off as easy as the uh, as this one, as easily as this one. And it actually looks very. I think it looks a little better because it's a lot darker, even though it kind of clashes with the rest of the figure. However, when it's all put together, it looks really nice. But this is meant to hold in place something that you're supposed to peg in there. It basically holds on to the backpack, so then you close up his chest. There we go, we put uh, this off to the side, we won't really need it. And next up, the uh, you have to do two more things to set up Optimus. First, you basically just transform his legs. Like so. Like so. And the other part is a bit more interesting. First, you flip these parts up. And then you fold this back, and then you have to straighten this down. And then, it, it'll make sense later, because it's for clearance reasons, you angle these uh, back uh, these back flaps. I don't know what else to really call these. So you angle them like this. And there are some pegs back here for it. 
So I know that it's supposed to be like this. So you angle them like this and you make sure this is flat. And now Optimus is done. That's it. That's all you need to do with Optimus. Like that. So let's put him off to the side. Jetfire is a lot more involved because you basically just have to take him apart. Which, morbidly enough, that's what happens in the movie. The so first thing, you just take off his, uh, his axe. Then his uh, walking stick here. You leave it like this, though, because this becomes a weapon later. And now we get to uh, him. Uh, first thing, let's uh, take him apart. Hold on, you gotta open this up. Oh no, first you gotta take these off. Unplug these, these bits. Then kind of start transforming him. All right. Now, you, set, you break him apart like this. And now for this part, as you can see, there is a bit of a connector here. It's really stuff tough though. So what you're supposed to do is, I think, bend this down. And then just, hold on. It's really tough, so be, be very careful when doing this so you don't break it. There we go. And then slide. So as you saw, you push this down, down, or out, as a, and then you just slide it out. And then, um, well, you sort of rip them in half. And next up, uh, with that, you just fold this up. And then the next thing is that you come over here with this top piece. Is a uh, his jet cockpit mode straighten it out like so and then you just pull this out there you go and then this uh, we'll put that off to the side that'll be uh, shoulders and now for jet fire that is a uh, pretty much it for jet fire there is like one other thing you can do with them but um I'll show that off later well maybe show it off I'm unsure about it now we come to this this is this is what you need to really combine with Optimus so Next up, you go down here, and then this part is a bit annoying, but I don't know if you can see that. There is another slider here, like right here. The idea is that you're supposed to put your finger in here, pull outward, and then you yank this out. So be very careful, because from here, come on, there we go. It's, it's in there very, it's, it's very, very, it's locked in, like, in place quite well, so, it's, so you have to put a lot of strength, so be very careful not to break it. But yeah, as you saw, it's like in there. You can see it's like this. There you go. And funny enough, this, this, uh, his uh, left leg becomes Optimus's um, right leg, funny enough. So, so we have uh, one leg, and then this side do the same thing. Ah. So yeah, you just gotta yank it, just be very careful. And now let's set up the uh, the boots really quick. So now we can start combining a little bit. This still needs a little bit more, but it's uh, not much. Oh, and I'm just gonna say now, this combination is a lot, I guess, uh, simpler than I expected. I honestly expect this would be like a real um, a real puzzle, but no, not, not really. So the legs, they have to be like uh, like this, because these, these things, these uh, ports peg into here. So how this works, pull this, pull this down, pull out like so, rotate, and you need to have each boot to be like that, so like that, so down, it's like this, so down, down, like so, and then you start plugging in the legs, so you plug it in like so, and then this part fold up, and it'll peg into place here. There you go, fold out, and then for this part you rotate up, and then you peg this into there. There we go, it's in there, and then for this piece, you're supposed to leave it out like that, so that it's more, uh, so that it lines up, and this side do the same thing, like so. Hold on. Like so, lift up, ready to go, rotate, peg into place, up, got it, don't give me trouble now, you worked off camera, alright, there we go, straighten up, and there you have his, uh, his uh, boots, next up is the uh, backpack, which is uh, this piece, which what you, what you have to do here is close this up, 
straighten up like so. What is this? You have to have it be like, uh, what was this? Oh, like this. There we go. You need to have it like this, and then you split, though, you take off these pieces. Which, uh, these things have like two uses, an official one, and an, un or they're both unofficial, I don't, I don't know, you sure, but you take these pieces off from here, put them off to the side, and then you split open the legs. And, that's it. This is the, uh, backpack. And then you connect it like so, and this is why this is needed, need, this needed to be flat. As flat as possible, and this straight for it's, uh, it's for clearance. And now this part is a little bit weird to explain, but basically you have to feed um, these two bits into here. And it doesn't really lock into place, it just sort of sits there. So you just you do this. Just put it in, and it just sits there. So you can pull it out. Like so. I mean... I don't want to put too much force in here, but this is, I don't see a place where it's supposed to lock. It just sits there, unless you're supposed to push this more forward. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I feel it's just supposed to sit there. So just be aware that this thing, as unless I'm doing, unless there's something I'm missing, but from what I can, what I've confound, it doesn't really lock into place. Yeah, I just, I, I don't see it. So yeah, it just sort of, it just sits there. You just have it sitting there. Like so. If it's supposed to lock, I just, I don't see the clearance for it. Because these will, uh, these start getting in the way. And there you go. So that's its backpack. Next up, you take these bits. You take, uh, hold on, let me lift up his arms. Take these bits. Feed them through. That's one. Feed them through. That's two. And then you just, uh... Combine them, just connect them like this, like uh, like so, and then you plug it in there. And this piece, because of we have, because we're using the uh, more metallic one from Jetfire, which is a lot sturdier, this basically holds this entire thing in place. See, in case this falls off, this will hold it. So yeah, that's um, so now I'm convinced that's not really supposed to um lock in. It just sits there, but still. It's a pretty, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice, I guess, a uh, friction connection. Then you fold the arms down. Now lift up the flaps. Because now we're almost done. What's left is that you have to split this apart. Carefully, I might add. Split it apart. Come on. Come on, get your nail in there. Come on. Work with me. There we go. You have split it apart. Right. And then making sure that the, um that they're like this, and yeah, yellow yellow spot again. You have to have the cockpit side facing forward. You just uh, plug into his shoulders. Plug in each shoulder. Hold on, there we go. Then fold down, and that is basically it. Not even joking, th this is it. This is pretty much it. All that's left are really the accessories, which are the uh, other stuff that I put aside. So the first thing you can do, at least how I do, how I how I like to do it, is you take the walking stick, which like this has this little piece here that can peg under his arm. You pop it in, and that gives Optimus a little machine gun there, which he did have in the movie on that arm. And then what I like to do anyway is take his ion cannon. And also underslung it on the other side, and that basically makes him his cannon. So you have the cannon and the machine gun, and you can also give him the um, what's it called? Can I do something? Can I do this now? You can also give him Jet uh, Jetfire's axe. And just give him the axe as a, as an extra weapon. However, I actually don't particularly like the the axe on him, but you can give it to him, so he can have the axe. However, it just, it looks off on him for some reason. I actually prefer him without it, but you can have him hold the axe. And the other pieces 
are these things which you can, like this, attach to them on the side to give them a little bit of extra bulk. And, at least for me, this is how I do Jet, uh, jet Wing Optimus Prime, and here he is. And I gotta say, this looks really, really nice. I'm very impressed by how they did this. I was a little concerned because, um, I don't know, because I just had no idea how to do this. I thought it would be a lot more complicated. But this is very nice and, surprisingly, fairly accurate. Granted, it's not 100% accurate. I mean, I, I don't know how that's even possible, how that would even be possible. But still, it's very, very nice looking. Like, it's a lot better than what I expected. And honestly, I think it is worth getting uh, this Optimus and the Jetfire to uh, do this. So this is it. Um, Articulation-wise, it's basically it's it's what it is. It's a combination of Optimus and Megatron, and uh, not Megatron and Jetfire. Uh, ball joint at the head. Arms are the same, same, same. You have his uh, machine gun, his cannon. Uh, legs are the same, just with more stuff in it. Um, he gets the same, the same knee, same swivel, but now he gets uh, Jetfire's extra feet, extra feet, uh, what is it, uh, feet movement, and it's ankle. So, even though he's a lot bulkier, even though he is uh, bulkier and bigger, and I think size-wise, he's about the same size as a regular leader class. I think he's not that much bigger than a Jetfire. So, um, so yeah, oh, and this, uh, this fell off. And just to take this off, these pieces you can also combine together. And I'm just going to bring up this sort of silly thing. So articulation wise, he has the same articulation as Optimus with Jetfire's feet. So it's not that, it's, it's not bad. And these actually even move out of the way. So he's still fully posable, which is also, again, very, very nice. Um, the only thing is that I kind of wish that um he had his big cannon that he had in the movie i w but you can do it here but i would have preferred if maybe this can combine with this or something and just sort of um is there no way for me to do that here no 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 sadly there isn't i, I kind of wish they would have done it where the axe can combine with the ion blaster then you just have like the longer cannon because it wasn't a really particularly big cannon it was just a long cannon so I just like having the uh, Ion Blaster underslung there. And again, you can also give him this. I think I've said that already like 20 times now. But this piece here, you can combine them together. And this forms a barrel. Because what, it's in, what is intended is that you can do his long cannon for his right arm. But it requires you sort of transforming the upper half of Jetfire into that gun mode. I have seen it, and to be honest, it's very, very silly. I'm not gonna lie, like... I actually really like how, how he turned out like this. I just, again, would have preferred if there was some way to turn this into his big cannon, into his long cannon. And I actually like these pieces more as these little extra armor bits for the side. Makes it, it gives them that extra bulk and sort of fills out these gaps. Which to me, honestly, just looks much nicer. Than it being a uh, gun. And again, you have to admit, that doesn't look half bad. It fills out that gaps and gives them that extra bulk. But poor Jetfire here is upper torso. I mean... No, I'm, not, I'm honestly not going to show it. I don't, I don't like it. It's just, it's way too, it's way too big. It's just, it's basically just this. Mm. Do I want to do it? How does that even... Like, the idea is that it sort of connects here, and then this sort of straightens out. And then these pieces connect here, and that's the barrel. So then you ba you're basically transforming into jet mode. And, you know what, let me make that attempt. No, you know what? Well, actually, hold on one second. Okay, so I'm back, and, um... Hold on. This is the farthest I was able to go. I mean, I don't think this is the, the right way to do it, but the idea is that you have to condense them to look vaguely like a gun. And then these are the uh, pieces here that you just combine them and you put them there. 
And then somehow, I, I haven't figured out how to do it, and I don't plan on it. You're supposed to combine, like, connect this to his arm. He's supposed to be able to hold it. Somehow. I mean, I guess he has a spot in there for maybe the ion cannon. Nah, I'm not, not going to lie. Nah, nah. I'm not, not, not going to try. So, so yeah, this, um, it's an attempt, but I personally do not like it. I, I just prefer having it be like this. Let me put him back with his shoulder piece. There's a little uh, extra bits of armor. So yeah, just so just be aware that you you can. There is a there is a way to make um the upper half of Jetfire turn into the cannon that he had in the movie. However, I do I think it looks it looks comically oversized and it just doesn't look right. So I actually prefer Jetwing Prime like this. And overall, it's. A whole lot better than I expected. This is actually very, very nice. Again, it's a lot more accurate than I think um, past versions of this combination. And it just, it's just really nice. Just I have nothing else to say. It's just very, very nice. It just it's I'm blown away by it. I was not expecting it. Again, my, I think my biggest downside is that the accessories, like I felt that they could have done more with the accessories, especially with the axe. Again, what stopped them from just sort of having this fold around this and just have it be the long cannon and not, you know, have this be the cannon because this is just too much in my opinion. But other than, you know, the accessories issue, very nice. Even if he didn't have the weapons, he still looks very nice. And I guess that's the uh, word of the day. So yeah, this has been my review of the, um, the I, what would I even call this? The Studio Series uh, Jetwing uh, Optimus Prime? Yeah, I guess this would be my, my review of the Transformer Studio Series uh, Jetwing Optimus Prime. Or the combination slash homage to power linking of Jetfire and Optimus. And, oh, I guess another fun fact is that I believe this combo was, even though it's, a, it's now officially called the Jetwing Optimus Prime, I think originally it was called the Jet Power Optimus Prime. Because uh, Jetwing Prime was later given to his... Um, his a uh, flight mode in Dark of the Moon when he you know when he got wings from his uh, trailer. So yeah, like I said, final thought overall, this this thing's great. Go get it if you have the Jetfire and the second version of Studio Optimus Prime. Combine them. It's just it's 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 all amazing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I guess one final time, Studio Series uh, Jetwing Optimus Prime. This is Composite Energy signing off. Peace out.